This is how to quickly derive this equation for resistors in series. So we've got a very simple circuit with three resistors in it, one, two, and three. Now due to Kirchhoff's second law about conservation of energy in that circuit, we can say that V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. And this is assuming there's no internal resistance from this power supply. We know of course as well that V equals IR, and therefore we can say that the current here, I, multiplied by the total resistance of that circuit um, is equal to this value of V up here. We can also look at this resistor and say that V1 is equal to I1 times R1, and we can do the same with these two resistors as well. So using this equation here, we can substitute all of these other equations into it, like so. And when we do that, we say that IRT equals I1R1 plus I2R2 plus I3R3. Now again, due to Kirchhoff's laws uh, about the current into a junction is equal to the current out of a junction, we know that the current here is going to be the same as the current here, here, and here in that circuit. And that's why I is equal to I1, which equals I2, which equals I3. And therefore here, we can cancel all of these out to say that RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3, or indeed however many resistors we have in series, we just add up their individual resistances to find the total resistance.